Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your model making needs. eModels.co.uk, make something awesome. <laughs> You guys are sending bigger and bigger parcels. <sighs> Mailbag. <laughs>Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. Hello, hello, welcome to a rather enormous mystery package times. Yes, another one. Another one has arrived at Guru Towers. This one has come all the way from New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, follower Ryan Riley has very kindly, uh, well he got in touch and I, and I, I forgive me Ryan because I can't quite remember, I think he was moving house or something and he had a load of stuff and he said I'm never going to get around to sorting it all out or making any, all of it or doing stuff with it, can I send you some for the wheel of giveaways and everything else and I'm like yeah no problem, awesome, didn't think he's sending me this much, wow this is a rather significant box and the downside of course is the bigger these boxes get, the outside of where all my lights are so it's just dark abyss here but never mind anyway yes this large box has arrived and i've got no idea what's in it apart from i did see one word on the shipping label but I'll, i won't spoil anything uh so i've got no idea what's in here now there was a bit of a, a goof with the address I, I got a bit of the address wrong when i sent in my address which wouldn't have affected the shipping at all and then he made a bit of a goof when he wrote the address on a massive label this big the biggest label i've ever seen got the, the house number wrong so my neighbor got a letter saying there's a parcel waiting for you and I'm like, that would be my parcel then. So we had to go back and forth and hassle the post office. Anyway, they got it here. So yes, miraculously, it has arrived. Don't worry, Ryan. There was no problems with the delivery. It got here. Now, I'm going to have to <clears throat> take this off the desk to open it. I'll start the process off. Where is the knife of opening? Crappy knife of opening. Oh, it's not the same when it works first time. It's not easy. It's not as much fun when it opens straight away. Now, let's get this puppy open, shall we? Yes, this has come all the way from New Jersey. Yeah, there we go. How is everybody today? I'm fine, I'm doing all right. I'm just about to start work on the uh, Strike Rouge when this package arrived. No, I have got a bin bag on standby because I heard some noises and I get the impression there might be packing nuts in here. And given the size of the box, that may be a significant number of packing nuts, if I'm right. right. So I'll just see if there's a note in here first before I look in and see. Oh yeah, there we go, there's an envelope. Oh, we get a note. Look at this, we get a note in an in envelope and everything. It's sealed. Has it got money in it? That'd be brilliant. <laughs> quick read of the letterings to Fox oh hello hang on something fell on the floor oh kick ass he sent me a giant bomb sticker <gasps> kick ass giant bomb my favorite podcast dude dude even cool that's one thing revealed that's in the box giant I know you can't see it because I'll show it when we go to the desk giant bomb sticker awesome cool right let's have a look oh hello there's another one there's a I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, he says, <sighs> Hello, Fox. I started modelling only last year, and as you can tell, I went a little crazy. I think we'll find out in a minute. I'm lucky enough to have a local shop that specialises in... I won't tell you, because that'll spoil everything. And even if I were stopping in for a pot of paint, I'd usually leave with a kit. Also, I pre-ordered a few of my taste in suits has since changed. And anyway, there's a giveaway. Anyway, my backlog was taking up most of the room I needed to thin the stock. These kits are yours to do with as you please. <gasps> wow. Uh, my first painted guild war build was a Giara Zulu, and your tutorial series was a huge help understanding this amazing hobby. I won't read the next bit because I don't want to give it away. Don't want to spoil the surprise, you see. Uh, finally, on a re recent vacation to the shore, I grabbed a box of treats. They were made fresh, and I hope they survived the journey. <laughs> They're going to go into my face. 
Keep up the great work. I know your Sundays are primarily Warhammer streams. However, I found the prowse wheel a little lacking of the... I won't mention those because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Best wishes, Ryan. P.S. Nice to know a fellow Duda from across the pond. I hope you enjoy the stickers. Yeah, man. Duda. Giant Bomb. I love Giant Bomb. I love Giant Bomb. It's not been the same since Ryan Davis passed, but there you go. It's still good. Right. What I'm going to have to do is put that there. I'm going to put this like I have done in the last few shows. Put this on the floor and bring things out one by one. Um, because otherwise it's just not going to happen. The camera is so far across the room right now. It's unbelievable. So give me a second. I'll put this down and we'll start going through back in a moment. Okay, so before we get everything out of the box, let me show you what we've already seen, which was this rather awesome, awesome giant bomb sticker and uh, this rather awesome, awesome beard sticker, which I kind of like. I think what I need to do is put them on the back of my iPad. Let's get this off here. Let's... Come on, off you come. Or should I put it on my should I put it on my Crusader case for my for my army? No, I'll put it on my iPad. I'll put it I will I will put it on my iPad. I'll get it off here. I chose a bad day to trim my nails. Oh, nearly. N nearly no. You know what? You know what? I'll leave, I'll leave it for now. I don't want to sit here for ten minutes. Can I get a sticker off a sticker sheet? So, two awesome stickers. They will go onto my iPad. Thank you very much for those, Ryan. Let's see what else we've got. I'm all out of breath now because I'm all excited. I need to do a quick swig of tea. I know, me, tea. It's not right, is it? Oh. But it's a little bit warm again today, so I'm not going to have coffee t just yet. I've had coffee before today. Right. First of all, yes. 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 <gasps> First of all, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You know I've got to do it. Oh. oh, somebody's already had a go at this. <gasps> Big ones. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that's much better. Oh, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Gotta do it. Me, 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 Play time over, yes. <laughs> Sorry, was that a bit stupid? Yes, I'm all giddy. I'm all giddy today because I like getting boxes of things. Right, so let's go through. I'm going to try and not look and just pull, pull things out one by one. <gasps> hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Got to do it. <laughs> it made a trumpy noise. By the way, I don't know if I don't know if my arm <sighs> to my viewers, my colonial cousin viewers in America. I don't know if you know this, but I hope you realise that in the UK, Trump means fart. It's a word for fart. I just thought I'd tell you that. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. oh. You are going to be you. What the? Oh my! Holy! You are just... Oh. Ryan, Ryan, what are you doing? This, you, you're not going to believe what is actually in this box. How much? Oh, what? Okay, right. We're going to go through these one by one. Oh my! Oh gee! Oh crap! Oh god! There's just... Okay, I'm completely gobsmacked now. I'm completely gobsmacked. Right, I'll just I'll stop teasing you. <sighs> right, I might have to I might have to snag one of the one or two of these for myself, but the rest will go into the wheel of giveaways. <sighs> right, are we ready? First thing to go onto the wheel of giveaways is the uh, SD. Is it a BB Senshi? No, it's the EX Standard Strike Freedom Gundam. Yes, absolutely lovely. I think I've got one of these myself, so this will go into the uh, wheel of giveaways. But EX Standard is like the new range of SD, isn't it? So, look at that. Lots of nice, crisp detail. And of course, being the freedom, it's got the gold bits. Although, not many gold bits. 
Of course, it's yeah, it's the uh, yes. Yeah. I thought there'd be more gold than that. There's these bits. They're mostly polycaps. I think you'd have to see it all built properly to understand how that works. Cool, cool. So there we go. That's going to go on the wheel of giveaways. That yeah, I can see I'm going to have to looking at this box. I'm going to have to move the camera again, aren't I? We start off with the uh, SD EX Standard Strike Freedom Gundam. That will go into the wheel of giveaways. Next, we have. I don't know what that is, but I think it's possibly edible. <laughs> okay, next we next we have. Oh, we have the HG OZ 6 MS Leo Oz mass produced mobile suit. Look at that. Or oh, with the really dubious extra vernier right in the rude place. Oh, look at that. It's one of those really simple suits. It's a really simple design, but it's got a certain charm to it. And it's an HG, so it's a really straightforward build. But there's so much potential for just having good fun with that. Uh, it's part of the Gumpler. I can't remember what the Gumpler Evolution project was because they keep bringing out all these different things all the time, and then I forget which is what and what these all different things mean. It gets very confusing. Uh, but it's from Gundam Wing. I don't remember seeing that. Mind you, then again, I was about to say I don't remember seeing it in Gundam Wing, but I kind of gave up on Gundam Wing after about six or seven episodes because it broke my brain. Yeah. So awesome source. That'll be a great project for weathering that because it's so straightforward and so like uncluttered and straightforward and simple. Potential for chipping and rusting and weathering it. There's an extra sheet. What's this? Ooh. Okay, this is interesting. Oh. Okay, this must be a recent kit then because it's in. English. There's English and Japanese, and there's multilingual key. I'm liking that. This must be Gumpla Evolution. Must be. I can't remember. I just I kind of know what it is, but I've forgotten because it's there's so many different things they do. What year is on this? Uh, well, it's 211 in the HG range, so it must be recent. It's got a year on it. It will have somewhere. It must be like in the last year or two. If it's got English on there, that's after the whole Bluefin thing and Star Wars, and then they started spreading it out a little bit. Must have a year on there. Uh, May 2018 was this year. Cool. So, yeah, it's very recent. Awesome source. It's nice to tell them they're still making kits from such vintage series. Nice and simple. Nice and triple. Brown. Death World Forest. Uh, Beastie Brown, Vallejo Beastie Brown. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I've been doing lots of things with colours lately. So there we go, there's the Oz 06 MS Leo. That will be going into the wheel of giveaways. Now I've got to make a pile of these as I get them all out of the box because this is going to get really confusing and complicated. <sighs> right. Uh, I'm going to do this this thing next because I think this might be for me. I don't know what this is. Shrivers. I don't know what this is. There's a carrier bag. Oh, oh, I just saw some words. Salt water taffy, homemade fudge, macaroons. Since 1898, 9th Street and Boardwalk, Ocean City, New Jersey. 609-399-0100. Shrivers.com, what is in here? Oh. oh, good God, that's heavy. Listen, how heavy is that? Oh, holy crap. Shrivers, saltwater taffy fan confection, boardwalk. I'm going to try it now. You know, I'm going to try it now. Look at this, it's got a ribbon on it and everything. I feel bad taking that. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, I can smell it. <gasps> Wait, there's a device. There's a device. There may have been a little bit of meltage in transit. Oh, look at this. I've got to smell it. Hang on. Oh, I have a smell of that. Oh, 
Ooh, I'm going to have to have a little bit because I'm going to take a little bit and then I'll take it downstairs because me and Mama Fox can share it. I'll try a little bit. All different flavours, I think. Are we ready? It's proper American fudge. Mmm. Mmm. That's peanut. That's peanut. Let's try one from this end. I wonder if all the light ones are peanut and the dark ones are something else. Let's try a bit of this one. There's peanut as well. Mm, nope, this one is. Ooh, this one's. Mmm. Num, 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 num. Mmm. I don't know what flavour that is, but that's nice. Mmm. So there's obviously one, two, three, four, five different flavours in there, I think. I shall report back and let you know. Oh! <gasps> the oldest candy store on the boardwalk. It doesn't tell me what... F oh, does it? No, it doesn't tell me. One pound of fudge. <laughs> it's a whole pound of... F I don't even know how they got this on the corner now. Uh, uh, how did this... There's probably a really simple way that they wrap this round. And I don't know what it was. Oh, there you go. I did it. I can be all poncy and everything. Look, how spanky am I? I did poncy wrapping. Cool. Mmm, that's really nice. That's awesome. Ryan, thank you very much. Myself and Mama Fox will enjoy that greatly. Now, I'm just going to pause for a second because I need to make sure the lighting's fine. One moment. All right, sorry about that. I was just checking the light. And no, I haven't. Didn't I? Didn't run off any all the fudge. It's still there. Look, it's still a pound of fudge. It's a whole pound of fudge. Oh, that will go to Mama Fox first. I mean, yeah, she's got the appetite of a sparrow, and I'll still end up eating all of it, but most of it anyway. But yeah, which is good for me. But yes, I'm not eating it. So, what's next? Oh, I don't know what to pull out next. Let's. Oh, yeah. If I sound a bit it's because I've, I really am just completely floored by everything that's in this box you won't believe how much is in here let's just let's just go to the next one next we have McGillis's Schwab Grays it's a reborn 100 kit I am blooded orphans McGillis oh Schwab Grays I can't do the I don't know I can't remember how they pronounced it in the anime uh, yes McGillis's Schwab Grays now if you're not familiar with these reborn 100s I think they're reborn 100s well, it might just be the IBA 1100s. I'm not sure if it's a Reborn 100. It might not be an RE 100. Um, what they've done is basically, they've done a load of the kits from Iron Blooded Orphans in HG, but they've also done a load of them in 1 100 scale, so master grade size, but without being as complex as master grade. So they're kind of a halfway step between HG and master grade. Um, just because some of the suits they wanted to give bigger suits, but I guess they couldn't either, didn't have time or the budget to put them into master grade because they didn't know how popular these suits would be uh, and i don't like the feet on these suits so yeah i can see why they, maybe they didn't they didn't want to straight away go in and say uh, master grade maybe not i don't think there's actually any master grade ibo kits at the moment i don't know if there are maybe it just takes that long to get them going i don't know but anyway yes uh, this is mcgillis's schwalb grays and uh, i've not done one of these ibo kits yet i haven't actually built an ibo kit yet but yeah, so they're kind of halfway between a master grade and a high grade. So they've got more complicated than, than high grade. There is an there is a a rudimentary in a frame. You can see there, like a rudimentary in a frame. Inside all the bits. It's not the most complex of inner frames. That's the one I meant to show you actually. Uh, it's, it's, it's not like a full master grade inner frame, but it's still a kind of a nice inner frame. So there is some depth to it there. But they're just nice and big. Uh, and you've got this really bright, wow, it's really bright blue. That is some blue, that. Woo! Uh, and the one thing I like about these is, if this was a high grade, you'd have half the blue bits would have stickers to make them grey, because it's blue and grey. So half the, the if you wanted a grey panel, most of the bits would be moulded into the blue plastic. Here you've got some decent colour separation, so you've actually got some stickers. You've only got like a handful of grey stickers on there, and some for the camera, and that's it. So if that was an HG, that'd be full of stickers. So yeah, so that's going to go into the wheel of giveaways, the Schwalbe Greys. Now if you watch the, um, I think it was Sunday's live stream, or was it the week before, I can't remember, when I actually said that I wasn't that keen on Iron Blooded Orphans. I didn't mind it. I watched the first season, it was alright, it was quite enjoyable. It was quite dark. 
Uh, but I didn't get in, I didn't get far into the second season because basically I got fatigue, but not from from anything other than there were too many things going on. There were too many factions, too many characters. I didn't know who anybody was. Uh, I mean, I knew the protagonists and the Martian characters. I knew them, but then you got into the Galahorn and the pirates and everybody else, and I'm like, I just I just got confused with whoever the hell everybody was. To the point where now, I can tell you, Magirisu. I can't tell you if Magirisu was was he Gallahorn? Was he not Gallahorn? Was he? He wasn't the pirates, but it, was he Gallahorn? But he was against Gallahorn. Was he the guy with the mask who was helping the with the? I, I, I can't remember. It got confusing. There was like Gallahorn, and then the other guys, and then the uh, yeah. It broke my brain more than Wing Gundam, so that's why I kind of gave up on it. But also, I'm not a big fan of IBO feet. So if I can find a decent picture of them. Look, there's little, little stubby feet. I don't... That's, that's not what Gundam feet should look like. No, 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 no. No, no. No, that's not what Gumpla feet should look like. Gumpla should have nice, long Cuban heel. And they've got the Cuban heel, but this little stubby... No, don't like that. So, yes, this is going to go into the wheel of giveaways. It's a beautiful little kit. I say it's not as complicated as a Master Grade, but it's got tons and tons of painty potential. So you should have some fun with that. Um, and I think they're all kind of got very similar inner frame because they're all based on the same kind of, in the storyline, same kind of Gundam frame. There's like six different, I can't remember. So I think there's lots of interchangeability, but I'm not sure. So there we go. McGillis's Schwalb Greys. McGillis -o. Now, what's next? I hope you... Like I say, I hope you've got a cup of tea and you settle because this is going to be a long show. Next we have... Please set your GP base. Beginning Plavsky particle dispersal. <laughs> stage 5, desert. Except he didn't say desert, he'd go stage 5, dessert. Because in the Japanese English subtitle version, the the sort of the AI announcer for the, for the, the PP system was um, kind of in English but not very good English, and it was quite funny. So he'd say, stage five, dessert. I think you mean desert. Stage four, forest. Custom GP base. If you've watched any of the Bill Fighters, I'll shut up now. Uh, they have the little, the Plavsky, per start again. They have the Plavsky particle uh, dispersal system, which they use for Gumpler battle. Gumpler battle. And uh, they, they put it onto the GP base and it scans the Gumpler and then makes it move around and it, they can have proper battles and stuff. And it's all kind of cool and it looks like that. And this is just an alternative base for your HG kits. You can use it for any HG kit, I think. It's not restricted to the Bill Fighters kits. But it's great because you can, you can actually print this off and you can write in it. You can put it in a printer and print off details and stuff. You do whatever you want to it. So they're kind of cool. I actually meant to get one of these. They are kind of cool. It's like an alternative uh, HG star. I don't think Master Grade would fit on it if they do, it wouldn't do very well. So it might do. But they're quite cool. They're quite cool. You could put an LED in there if you wanted to. It's kind of designed if you want to put an LED in it. Which would be even more cool. So there you go. Uh, custom GP base for an HG. Uh, I'm struggling to find somewhere to put all these. I mean, just, just in during this video. Uh, next we have... There's <laughs> so many of these things. Next we have... Hello, hello, hello! Another Harrow. Yes, now, when I was sent the uh, Harrow recently, uh, in another mystery package times, it was actually meant for me. You know, the um, the Gundam Front, was it Gundam Front? The Gundam Front exclusive one that was meant for me, and I put it into the, into the giveaway pile. So, I think I might have to claim this one, because I was supposed to have a Harrow. He said, because when it was sent to me, it was like, everybody should have a Harrow. And I, I didn't. I put it, I didn't see that bit of the note, so this I will claim for myself, basic green harrow, harrow, so I'm going to open this one because it's mine, it's mine now, we've already got a harrow in the, in the giveaways, and there we go, dead simple, here, you, you can't you can't knock a good harrow. Front, back, interior bits, which you could paint up with lots of details. I might well do. Uh, and there's like a, literally a handful of steps, and you can have it with all the arms out and the little legs, or you can have it as a, just a proper harrow as a ball. Just no weathering you could do on that at all. Unless you wanted it to look weathered, but 
I don't know if I'd want to do that. I think I'd have to just have it as a basic, as a, as a clean harrow. So awesome. I will claim this Ryan as mine. Thank you very much. I'll put that over there. That'll be mine. So I've got a harrow now. What's next? Oh, we've got more. Right, we have. This is a more recent kit. Uh, this is from uh, Gundam Build Divers, the new build series. We have the Grimoire Red Beret. Now, I, I've only watched about three episodes of the Build Divers. I've watched up to where you get the wolf character. Um, and I haven't seen after that yet. So I've not come across the, the Red Beret, I don't think. The Rommel's... Oh, no, I say I have. Yes, I have. Rommel's the, Rommel's the, little, the little dog dude. The little animal dude, which I think is brilliant. I think it's brilliant. Uh, they haven't got a picture of Rommel on it here, though. That's a bit pants. Come on, show us a picture of Rommel. He's on there somewhere. Anyway. Well, this is quite heavy, because this is a... If you think, this is an HG. But, yeah, it's quite weighty. And there's quite a lot of parts for an HG. And I don't know how big this is, but it feels like it's actually quite large. And that's what it builds into. I quite like it. It's reminded me of i uh, I'm getting a kind of scope dog feel from it. Scope dog vibe. More things. So is this thing? Interesting instructions. A completely new style of instructions. I've never seen that before. Oh, there's Rommel. He's kind of a. I think he's a weasel. Uh, so this is a gun plot assembled by Rommel using a grimoire as a base kit. I won't read that because it's really small. I'm a long way away. Uh, but if you've not seen it, the idea is that this uh, build diaries is where people go into virtual reality and fight their gun plot. It's a bit like Gundam build, uh, build fighters, but it's a VR version. That's why you've got like uh, somebody who's actually an animal and not a person. And it's kind of kind of adorbs. But he's also like one of the best gunpla fighters. But interesting, I've never seen instructions like that before. And then black and white for the other bit. Weird. I don't know why that's weird. It just is. Cool. So there you go. That's, that looks like rather nice, actually. Again, this one to me would be prime weathering territory. Customised plan. Ooh. You've got little little blurb as to like you know how you could customize it perhaps tweak it around and blur back the colors but again this is in because it's one of the newer ones it's in japanese and english which i'm really liking i can only hope that going forward all gumpla have mixed language instructions because it is the best thing bandai have ever done and that looks mint i will be weathering that in kind of in the same way i'd weather a zaku lots of chipping and weathering and scruffiness oh I see HG customized campaign oh this is one of the is this one of the like limited not limited edition ones but you get the you get some extra bits for the first like limited order or something or maybe you just bought this separately I don't know but you get some extra bits in this uh, mint I like that I'm liking that it may be. Now he does say in his letter that these are for me to do with as I please. Now obviously I want to put as many of these into the wheel of giveaways for you guys as possible. And I will do. But there might be the one or two that I snag for myself. And I'm tempted by that one. But I don't know yet. So probably it's going to go into the wheel of giveaways. But I don't know for sure. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Right, so that's the Grimoire Red Beret. What's next? Oh, good God. <sighs> Actually, I think I've just seen something else I'd much rather have. Uh, next, we have uh, we have original, original good stuff. The RMS one seven nine GM two a gym. Yes, mass produced mobile suit. Good UC HG kit. Sixteen dollars in American space money. Uh, this is one hundred and thirty one, so it's not the newest of kits. What year is it? 2011. No, not that old. Not that old then. Uh, I, I do like a nice gym. I've got a gym to make, actually. I've got a, a ground type I need to make. I've never made a gym yet. I need to make one. 
so nice and straightforward i do like on these the the kind of uh, japanese sandal vercar style foot i like that foot strike gundam has the best feet by me as far as i'm concerned this is a close second well let's say rx782 is a, is a very close second and this is a close third this kind of really flat almost japanese not really sandal is the word i'm looking for but you know what i mean japanese shoe feel i like that so nice and straightforward uh, nice little hg kit what we've got of course being hg it comes with sticky stickers uh, which i'm sure if you wanted to you could find water slide versions either of that particular sheet or just generic water slides for efsf mobile suits in one one forty fourth butt plate butt plate shield shield nice clear yellow bits effect parts for your beam sabrings it's quite a big head actually it's quite surprising uh, i made the what did i make when i made this the uh, buster gundam it feels like this will be bigger interesting interesting that looks mint that looks mint hg builds I'm, i can't wait to do my gm ground type because when i did my buster gundam i did it as a brush paint job and it was great fun to build and brush paint and i think that's the way to go for little hg's like this because they're not they're just fun builds i think if i do hg's apart from my tria which is massive i think i'll do hg's as fun little brush builds so there you go so you, i put this into the wheel of giveaways the rms 179 gm2 you could win yourself a gym gym that will go into the wheel of giveaways right what's next blimey this is all the g he really has he really has given us the good stuff right next we're not well we're just about halfway through ready next rx 79g gundam ground type efsf first produced mobile suit this is from if i remember oh yeah eighth ms there you go we can say it's from eighth ms it says it there uh this is the ground type uh suit from eighth ms which i've watched and it was actually a really good little series a little sort of ova it was a series not an ova but it was a series this is pre oh no it's dual language again dual language i'm not this is sealed so i'm not going to open it up and show you uh, but i did like the suits in this uh, in the 8th ms anime especially with the big box on the back big sort of uh, stowage box for the bits and stuff and the shields that you can sponk in the ground or they had little tripods i don't know if these come with the little tripod stands uh, yes they do look there you go little bipods for the stands uh that was i've got i've got a list of gundam to get and this is one of the ones on the list so again i may have to i don't know if i'll claim this or if it'll go into the box of the, the wheel of giveaways box i don't know yet i don't want to be greedy i don't want to like claim half of these for myself and go yay free gun i don't want to do that i kind of like to pay it back and give it give it back to you guys so it's it, it's actually when somebody sends me a load of stuff now we've got the wheel of giveaways it's actually really hard for me to claim it for myself because i feel guilty so i don't know maybe maybe this will probably go into the wheel of giveaways we'll find out when we do the wheel of giveaways so yes so there you go a ground type uh gundam from 8 ms good series you never watched it it's worth watching it's a little bit dark it takes place in the same time as the uh that's a big part we've got one two one two how have we done so far we've done one two three four five six seven harrow i'm keeping harrow fudge next next jeez louise rgm 96x jester cannon special operations mobile suit from the unicorns again this one's sealed so i don't want to open it up in case i put it into the wheel of giveaways but yes these are all really recent 22 dollars that's not bad uh unfortunately it's hidden with this crinkle here because of the jester cannon again this is i think this is on my list of suits to get i think this was on my suits i should probably get i know i had a jester and I had the master grade jester and again it's quite a it's quite a heavy weighty box for a, for an hg they really are what years on is it this year's is that this year oh 52 no it can't be that recent uh i've got a year on here dibby, 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 dibby. can't see a bbb i can't see a date on here so 
I don't know how old this is. Might be old. Might be an older one. Um, you know, like, I mean, like, you know, five or six years. I don't mean, like, you know, 20 years old. But, yeah, again, it's quite a, quite a weighty box. So it must be quite a lot of plastic in there. And it's quite a meaty mobile suit. Unfortunately, it's covered up by this thing. But So, yeah, you could win yourself. This may well go into the wheel of giveaways, I think, most likely. So that's another giveaway prize is the Jester Cannon. So we are stocking up on the Gumplers. Now, that pile of boxes has now fallen over. Now, there's two things I need to do next. I need to have a swig of tea first. Oh. Right, right. Last two, we've got two more. And this is where it gets special now. This is where it gets super special. This is definitely going into the wheel of giveaways. The next one, I might have to keep, but this is definitely going in. This is the real grade Mark II AEUG prototype mobile suit RX178. Look at that. Yes, indeed. Now, is this from Charles Counter-Attack or is this from the other? I can't remember which one this is from now. You have to remind me. Uh, I do get confused on the lore sometimes. Or is it from a complete splinter side spin-off with AEUG? I can't remember. But you're into real grade territory now. So you're into HG144 scale, but full on inner frame, millions of tiny parts, and lots and lots of detail. Typically, if you've never done a real grade, it's typically like it's a step between master grade and perfect grade. So you get the kind of you get complexity coming close to master grade almost but you get the detail of a perfect grade like the surface detail and stuff so you've got these like wonderful and you do get lots and lots of stickers there's millions of markings and they are unfortunately stickers but again you can most likely get the water slide versions or if you can't there's probably lots of generic ones you can use instead things like those those are usually fine like the ones where there's no they're not clear so it's like a, a metallic uh, edge where it's, it's printed but the edge is actually inside the printing so like the eyes camera lenses these parts for the inner frame and usually that's what usually what they are and little symbols they're actually fine if if the the printing goes over the edge of the decal they're usually for things like stripes on the gear or Zulu. they actually work quite well they're not that bad they're all right it's things like these i struggle with where it's a clear piece so yeah i will try one i will try one one day and actually try sticking the stickers on and see what it looks like but yeah so anyway yes so millions of tiny parts and I mean millions of parts. HG size, almost master grade in complexity, almost perfect grade in its actual surface detail. Lots of little panel lines and tick marks and sculpted details. That looks gorgeous. Lots and lots of bits. Ooh, that's not in a bag. And you can see here the beauty of these real grades. And the thing that always blows my mind is when you get the inner frame parts. Uh, let's see if I can find a piece. I can't without knowing the, the the piece really well. What you find is like some of these parts here will actually have ball joints, ball and socket joints, built in already. You just snip this off, you twist it to break the seal, and you've got a, a pre-existing ball joint. That blows. There's one there. Can you see it? I don't know if you'll see it. That piece is moulded, but it's an existing ball joint. They've moulded a working ball joint. <clears throat> How they do that, I do not know. I do not know. It's dark magic. Bandai have the dark magics. String. Tubes. Tubes. So that looks mint. That's a really nice prize, that. That's a really nice prize for someone. That is a really, really nice looking suit as well. Yeah, we're liking a bit of that. You've got like little little hints of the Sinanju Stein style thrusters on the legs yeah you can see there's a little hint of a unicorn style shoulder it's weird a little different I don't mean like in the canon but in the just the design the pedigree of the design there's different hints of different suits all over the place you can see them <laughs> it's quite nice uh, and the feet are quite cool I don't like the way the heels stick out at the back but they are quite cool so yes so real grade uh, Gundam Mark 2 Brilliant, that's absolutely fantastic. So, real grade, I was a bit speechless there. Real grade Gundam 2 AUG, there you go. It's another prize. And then this one, last but not least. Oh, 
I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to claim this one for myself. I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I think. <sighs> yeah, it's a Giara Doga. When he said in his letter, because he says, I mean, one thing he does say in the letter is, I know your Sundays are primarily Warhammer streams, however, I found the prize wheel a little lacking of the Gundams. It's not anymore. Um, uh, he says his first plan to build was a Giara Zulu. Uh, his tutorial was great. I include a similar kit that you're welcome to keep if you like. Again, completely up to you. So this is like, maybe this is this is his way of saying thank you for that for getting him painting the Giara Zulu. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm going to put the Harrow back in the wheel of giveaways, and I'm going to keep the Giara Zulu because he mentions that specifically, and maybe that's his, if this is his way of you know repaying the favour then I'll, I'll honour that. Oh, I'm going to undo it, I'm going to undo it. Because I did have a great time doing the Giara Doga, uh, Giara Zulu, sorry. I'm getting it mixed up now, this is the Giara Doga. I wish in my heart of hearts they would do a Giara Zulu in Master Grey, but I don't think they will. But you've got the Giara Doga which is almost close, pretty close. <laughs> It's still almost space Nazi. Just a lot of plastic. That's a not insignificant amount of plastic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping this one. I've decided. So I'm going to keep this one for myself. Thank you very much, Ryan. You're an insane person. I'm going to keep this one for myself. I'm going to put it back in the box because it's crinkly noisy. So I'm going to keep the, the Doga for myself because I can have fun painting that one and weathering it. Me, I can't get it back in the box now. I shall keep that one for myself. Uh, but I'll see if I can pull the camera back and I'll just get them all back into shot. I'll put the Harrow back into the pile for the giveaways. It's only fair. I don't want to be greedy and take lots of things. I've got the fudge. I've got this. Yeah, I'm a bit, if I, if I seem a bit speechless, it's because I'm absolutely shocked by how much is actually sent. Let me pull the camera back, and if I can get everything in shot, we'll just get a pile, a big pile. I'll, back in a minute. And there we have it, this enormous, crazy, insane, expensive pile of plastic. <sighs> Ryan, I, I, I'm lost for words, I really, I really am lost for words, I can't. I can't express my gratitude for you sending all this stuff. There's so much stuff here. And the same goes to everybody who sent me stuff. You've all of you have been incredibly generous. You know, not just sending stuff for me, which is which is nice, but you're sending stuff for me to give away to other people that you've never met. I can't I can't thank you enough. You know, I when I started doing the wheel of giveaways and I said to people, you know, if you it was just a way for me to clear some stuff out of my stash and occasionally buy something when I put the word out there and said hey if you've got a kit you're never going to get around to building and you're not you just you don't want to sell it necessarily I'll take it off your hands and give it away I didn't think people would send this kind of amount of stuff it's it's insane I can't I can't thank you enough any of you so Ryan and everybody who sent me stuff thank you so much this is all stuff for you apart from this this is mine this is mine now mine now it's mine now Dave this is all for you guys i'm going to put it into the pile of kits to give away on the warhammer sundays because warhammer obviously ryan i can't thank you enough i i really can't thank you enough thank you so much and just to everybody watching thank you to all of you for watching as always um don't forget wheel of sun wheel of sundays no <laughs> wheel of sundays warhammer giveaway no warhammer sundays sundays 3 p.m this channel bst 3 p.m bst this channel hang with me for two or three hours I'll work on my Warhammer and we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. Hang out and chat and you can win some of this cool stuff and all the other cool stuff. Don't forget there's still a new Gundam Master Grade in there, Verkar. And loads of other good stuff. There's a, all kinds of Warhammer things and other stuff as well. So, Sundays 3pm BST. And don't forget, of course, Model Makers Boom Hut. The best model making group out there. Go and join it. Facebook, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model boom hut. It's there. It's there on screen. You can see it. Go and join. It's the best place in the world. I'm going to cut it short because I'm dead excited and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. <sighs> Take care of yourselves. 
go make something awesome, go be awesome, yes you, and until next time, Ryan, thank you so much, adios amoebas.